Hello, I'm Colin Fallison and here with the International LGBT News Headlines from Pink 60. It's been reported that a mob in Nigeria murdered one man and seriously assaulted another in February after they were discovered to be a couple. Akinafesi Olabunmi died in hospital while his lover escaped into hiding. Indian politicians have again voted to keep the country's anti-gay law, with many who supported its removal not showing up to vote. Responsibility for dealing with the issue now returns to the Supreme Court. A gay man who received an abusive Valentine's gift at work has received a card and signed a book from Justin Trudeau and other Canadian MPs offering their support. Degas Sikorsky was told that he was being denied shifts because he's gay and has since left his job at Party City in Edmonton. Hillary Clinton has issued a further apology over her statement about the Reagans and AIDS in an attempt at damage limitation. At Nancy Reagan's funeral on Friday, she incorrectly attributed them with initiating America's response to the AIDS crisis, hailing the real heroes in her latest statement. And finally, Kate Davis' transgender documentary Southern Comfort has been turned into an off-Broadway musical. Playing at the Public Theatre, the show opened to mixed reviews and runs until the end of the month. Well, that's all from us at Pink 60 for now. Join us again tomorrow for the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages by searching for Pink 60 News.